on YouTube, probably my last um, post for today, but I might make something, but I'm running out of ideas. This is another audio post. I'm probably going to make a lot of these because I like the format. Also, I may make a correct cosplay soon, and oh my gosh, someone that came on Pandora is on my number two of my top ten Disney songs. That's what this post is. Number ten. Shh. Well, I guess you already know what my number one is. Number two? That's not number one. Number ten. Trash in the Camp from Tarzan. May really not have actual words in it. It's more like noises made by mouth, but... It's just such a catchy, upbeat thing. And when you hear the tune for a moment, you're in that confused state of what am I listening to. And then you breathe in, and you feel the nostalgia running around you, crazy with it's, it's screaming at you. Tarzan. Trash in the camp. It's just so catchy and amazing. Number nine. This is Halloween from Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. It's just such an iconic song. I could not have not put this on the list. Number eight from one of my personal favorite Disney movies, Hero to Zero, from Hercules. I love Hercules. That's all I have to say. Number seven, Hawaiian Roller Coaster, from Lilo and Stitch. And I spelt all of that so wrong. Wow. It's just... It's a pretty song. I don't have reasons for these. We're at number seven, and I... am only two minutes in. I am so sorry. Number six. Gospel Truth from Hercules. A story to go with this one. Everyone in the FCAT rooms, and like... This was sixth grade. Wow. And it's number six on my list. That's... Okay. After F-Cats, there's... After everyone was done, they were playing Hercules. They skipped Gospel Truth. We've never been agreeing on anything, ever. Because this was a bunch of preppy kids and me and my friends. And everyone groaned in unison and whined about them skipping it. It was beautiful. Number five, almost there, from Princess and the Frog. I just started to fall in love with the movie more after this song. It was beautiful. The art was interesting. The, the, the animation during the sequence is interesting, I should say. It was... I don't have reasons for these. I just love Disney music. Number four, the song that I really only know like three lines of, Prince Ali. The lines I know, Prince Ali, that's all I know. I don't know the words. I like Disney movies, okay? Whatever. Number three, I'll make a man out of you from Mulan. How can you not? I'll make a man out of my bad singing. Now, number two... Everyone's going to hate me for this, but I love this song. It's a pretty song. I don't care how overplayed it is in today's culture, and pop culture, and radios, and everything. I love it. Isolation, and it looks like I'm the queen. I, I won't play it longer because I don't know how long people will stand it, but I like that song a lot. Let me bring up my notepad because I totally forgot what number one was. Oh, I love this one. Under the Sea from Little Mermaid. I do that a lot. I'm so sorry because singing bad. Okay, that was it. And my three honorable mentions, Friend Like Me... From Shut Up, Adina Menzel. <laughs> yes, that's an amazing artist. I love the... From Aladdin. In case you remember, it's a sequence where... Jeez, I, I do all this stuff. This is what I can do. Be impressed. 
my next honorable mention, Friend Like Me from The Little Mermaid. Friend Like Me? Ugh, part of your world. Let's just go to the next one, pretend that didn't happen. I'm not sure if I got the title right. Take you down, take you all the way down, something like that. Princess and the Frog. Take you all the way down. We're a bunch of fireflies and we got accents and we're singing. Yeah. Okay, Dina Menzel can sing again. But, um, that was my top ten. That was really quick, so I apologize so much. I may do, do, I may do something like my favorite, um, characters from Disney or my favorite anime characters or my favorite characters in general or maybe even favorite actors you, you guys should realize knowing me my favorite actor is going to be David Tennant my favorite actor of all time is David Tennant spoiler alert spoilers Dr. Who references I am a dweeb okay I am a total dweeb do. I apologize for that. Wow, Adina Menzel is being really loud right now. I have no choice but to skip this song. I know you're all like, yeah, finally. I, I, there was one song I could have started singing that you all would have hated me for. You know what it is. Yeah, that one from Let It, that one from the movie Let It Go. I love that movie. It was brilliant. I can't even speak today. I don't care about the, the song. Um, anyways, uh, I may or may not make another post today, but post, it's upload. Potato, 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 tomato. Anyways. I'll, I'll, I don't know. I'll, th I'll try to make another post, I guess. I don't know. Have fun watching the other stuff I made today. And that, and, oh. Can I add in one more honorable mention? Because I totally forgot about this. It was on the tip of my tongue. I just can't wait to be king from The Lion King. I know it's stupid and just started playing, but I totally forgot about The Lion King. It's, it's, it's a beautiful song. Don't blame me. And I'm going to go before I add like 12 million more honorable mentions. Have fun existing. Bye. Also, wait, 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 don't exit out yet. Hey, I have one more thing to say. Since my uh, YouTube is Lunaria and Luna and Moon, well, just, like something stellar themed, that would be a great suggestion for a name of my subscribers. I know there's only nine of you, but I love having names for things. I mean, I have named, like, almost every single one of the dolls I had as a kid. Whether it was, like, Sock Thing or Alice, I named everything. So, that'd be helpful. Thank you. Okay, you can go now. Yep, you can go.